Hi, today I'm going to show you how to build this Japanese house and the idea for this video comes from BennyBear557. So let's take a look. And well, here it is. As you can see, this looks very nice. This is actually my first Japanese building. So I did a little bit of research, and with research I mean look into some pictures. But I hope you like it as much as I do, because this was a lot of fun to design. And also if you want to make this in survival, you have to keep in mind that this building is very expensive. But you can change some of the materials to make it easier. And well, this is the front that looks very stunning. And here we have some hallways all around the building that looks very nice. Where we have some views of the water i will recommend you to build it close to a river and here at the interior we have this here we have this little meditation area in the middle of the building to meditate like this we also here have the dining room with some pillows here on the floor some japanese words well i'm not really sure if that is a japanese word but you got the idea right here we have the kitchen well i'm not really sure how a japanese kitchen should look like but i tried my best here and i hope you like it here we have this sofa with a sword here very nice with some more japanese letters and also we have some bookshelves and some decoration and we also have the stairs to go up into the second floor and here upstairs we have the bedroom where we have this nice big bed here, very nice. We also have some extra pillows here to sit and more decoration. We have another sword here in this side. And we also here have a little disc to read some books here. Well, we shouldn't read this book. And here we have a bookshelf with some books and to sit here and read more books. But here in this little armchair or something. So well, that it's it for the tour and now Let's build it. These are all of the materials we are going to use for this building. First, we're gonna put a dark oak log here. Then we're gonna put three at this side. We're gonna put one like this, then five. Then one like this, then three again, and then one like this. Then at this side, we're gonna put five. Then one like this, then five one like this and we're gonna turn here three one like this five one like this three again then we're gonna put one there and we're gonna connect this five five here and it should look like this now we're gonna fill all of this with the beehives or if you want you can use oak planks or birch planks now we're gonna take our strip dark oak log and we're gonna put seven more blocks in every of these top blocks and once we have this we can connect them at the top as well and it should look like this you have to connect them even at the inside and now we're gonna take the looms and we're gonna put them over the locks like this facing this direction so you, you won't see the face of the loom and we're gonna put them over all of these locks we have here in the bottom. This like this, and this one like this. And here you can put them like this. So we will have this nice texture here on the bottom. And well, you have to leave three blocks here in the front, and also three blocks here in the back for our entrance and exit. Then we're gonna take the sand and we're gonna make a three blocks height wall here. Here we're gonna put three more and also here and at this side we're gonna repeat the same then at this side we're gonna put three here three here leaving this hole here also here at this side we're gonna fill it completely then three blocks here three blocks here we're gonna fill all of this and here we're gonna repeat the same three here three here three here and three here now we're gonna take the beehives and we're gonna put them like this over the sand facing this direction so you won't see this little like piece here and we're gonna surround all of the building like this and once we have that done we're gonna take the loom and we're gonna repeat the same we're gonna cover all of this space like this 
with this little pattern on top of the beehive and that's gonna look very nice and it should look like this as you can see we have a nice looking pattern going on here and this is how it look in the interior now we're gonna take some spruce trap doors and we're gonna put them underneath the beams like this also in this one and for this one we're gonna put them as well like this now we're gonna take the looms for make the ceiling and for that we're gonna put them in this direction like this filling all of this space here so we have this nice lines going like this that looks like bamboo or something that looks very nice for the ceiling and we're gonna fill all of these holes we have here with these beams we have here and now that we have that done as you can see here on the top looks as ugly as possible but don't worry because we're gonna cover this up a little bit farther in the video but here at the inside it looks very amazing with this pattern on the roof that looks very nice and as you can see this is already looking very nice actually you can go ahead and remove all of this here in this corner like that for our stairs that we're gonna make a little bit further in the video and now you can take some crimson trap doors to put them like this for the windows covering all of these holes and then close them up like that and the and we have this nice like little lines here that allows the light to come through that looks very nice and we're gonna do that same thing for all these windows here and here for the doors we're just gonna put them like this in one side so it looks like it's a sliding door that it's open and we're gonna repeat the same at this side like this now we're gonna go back to the outside and we're gonna take the cobblestone we're gonna leave two blocks here to put one block like this and we're gonna take it all this way like this until we get here and we're gonna go out three blocks and then we're gonna take it back here like this until we get here we're gonna go out three blocks again and we're gonna take it down this direction until we get here three blocks more and then we're gonna connect it to that piece there so we're gonna take it like this and we're gonna connect it here and let's fix this little block here that i missed and once we have that done we can fill all of this around the building with the beehives as well and now that we have that done we're gonna take the strip dark oak block we're gonna put one in this corner and we're gonna take it to the same height of this lock like this then we're gonna put one here where we have this cologne here we're gonna put another pillar like this to the same height as well we're gonna do one here next to this one and we're gonna put another in this corner like this we're gonna repeat the same on this side we're gonna put one here in the middle then we're gonna put one here in the corner then here where we have this one we're gonna put one where we have this one we're gonna put one again one here in the corner another one here in the middle and then we're gonna connect them at the top like this once we have that done we're also gonna connect them here at the middle not here because it should be like going diagonal here but we cannot do that in minecraft so we're gonna leave it like that and we're just gonna connect this uh, in the middle like this also here here and here and once we have that done we're gonna take the loom again and we're gonna cover all this ceiling here with them like this and we're gonna cover all of these holes we have here except for that one and once we have that done as you can see we now have this nice ceiling here and now we're gonna take the spruce trap doors to put them underneath all of these locks we have here like beams we're gonna we're gonna put them like this in all of these locks like this also here at the inside and once we have that done as you can see that gives a little bit of three-dimensionality here to the ceiling if that is a word we now can take some cobblestone slabs to do a little bit of entrance here at the entrance and here at the back we're gonna do it as well here like that now we're gonna take the spruce fences and we're gonna put them here then we're gonna cover them up with some spruce trapdoors like this 
and we're gonna do this little fence in all of these holes we have here except for the entrance and the exit and now that we have that done as you can see our building is starting to look very nice and now we're gonna take some spruce signs to put them here at the bottom of the logs and also here at the top of the logs except for this one where we have the beams we're gonna put them here and we're gonna do that for all of the colognes we have here also in this one we're gonna take it all the way around here we cannot do it here because we have the the fence we also will put one here but we cannot put them around because we have the trap doors but at least it looks very nice here from the outside and we're gonna do that even for the ones we have here at the inside like this we cannot put one here but doesn't matter and even here at the interior we're gonna do it as well at least here at the bottom and once we have that done as you can see that little detail have gave a lot of personality to the building and also you can put them at the top of the corner ones here because we don't have trapdoors or anything and now we can take some spruce fences to put them here and underneath a lantern and we're gonna do that in all of the columns we have here like this we're gonna do it here in the outside and once we have them at the outside we can even put them here in the hallways like this and we're gonna do it all around the building here in this like hallways and now with this the exterior is very light up and now we're gonna go inside to do it here at the inside as well like this in all of these pillars and like that this is looking very nice now here we're gonna put in the middle a spruce lab on the top and then we're gonna take the spruce trays to put them all the way like this until we get here at this corner we're gonna repeat the same at this side until we get here and then we're gonna repeat the same here we're gonna put a slab here on the top we're gonna take the spruce stairs like this till we get here at the corner and then we're gonna get at this side to repeat the same like this and we're gonna repeat that same thing in this side and in this other side and once we have that done we're gonna take the spruce trap doors to put them like this on all of these stairs like this in this corner we're gonna do it like this and we're gonna take them like this as well here at this corner we're gonna repeat the same we put three like this and then we're gonna take it like this as well here and also at this side and now that we have that we're gonna take the polished blackstone brick slabs to put them over the spruce trap doors like this in all of the sides also here and at these two sides as well once we have that done we're gonna put some here at, at this two then we're gonna put a slab here and one here so it looks like the corner is going up a little bit and we're gonna do that in all of the three left corners in all of the three corners left and then we're gonna take the normal block to put them here at the inside of these slabs we're gonna surround all of this like this and once we have that we're gonna put slabs again so we're gonna put one here and one more here we can remove the bottom one we're gonna take it all the way around here and once we have that we're gonna take the block and we're gonna go one in and we're just gonna repeat the same process all over and over again until we get here where we have these locks once we have that done we're gonna take the strip dark old lock and we're gonna take them up like this till we get here at this height we're gonna do that in all of these top locks even here at this one and then we're gonna connect all of them at the top and now that we have that done we're gonna take the beehives and we're gonna fill all this little space here where we're gonna have our stairs so we won't see uh, these looms but also you can light them up here so mobs won't spawn but I'm not quite sure if they can spawn here where we have the looms but we, they can do here where we have the logs so make sure you light this up before you put the floor here so it is easier once we have the beehives here and also we have this very light up with some torches we're gonna fill all of this space with beehives again but remember you can choose like 
oak planks or birch planks. Those are very similar colors. Actually fix this one like this so it looks better because we don't have the exposed log here. And now we're gonna put seven more logs in all of these top logs we have here. And then we're just gonna connect all of them at the top as we have done previously. And once we have that done, we're gonna repeat exact the same pattern we, we did here for these walls here on the first floor with the loom, then the sand, then the beehives, then the looms again, and even with the same windows in the same position, except that instead of an entrance and an exit here, we're gonna have windows like these ones that we have here. And once we have that done, as you can see, it's exactly the same pattern we have here for these walls, just instead that instead of having the doors here we just have these normal windows and we're gonna repeat the same here with the beams we're gonna put trap doors below them like this and this one as well we also will put them here and then we're gonna do the same and fill all of these spaces with the looms like this for a little nice looking ceiling and now we have all of this cover up and looking very nice. And now we're gonna repeat what we have been doing in all of the process, putting signs on the bottom of all of these locks here. We can also put the lanterns here on these locks. And then here we're gonna put some fences and also here at this side leaving one block here for our stair and we're gonna put some spruce, spruce trap doors on top of those fences like that. And here at the outside, we're gonna put the signs as well here at the bottom and also here at the top, but no here where we have the beams. And then we're gonna put the lanterns here as well in all of these logs. And as you can see, this is looking very nice. Now we're gonna repeat the same trick with it here with the stairs, the slabs and, this, and the trap doors here. So we put the slab on top, then we put the stairs like this and also here at this side and we're gonna repeat that same trick in all of the three sides left and once we have the stairs we're gonna put the trap doors like this all around the stairs and this in the corners we're gonna put three trap doors like this and then we continue with the trap doors all around the building now that we have the trap doors we're gonna take the polished black stone brick slabs and we're gonna put them on top of all of these trap doors we have here like this all around the building and once we have that we're gonna do the same trick with it here we are gonna put two slabs like this then one here at the top and then one here on top of that to make this corner and we're gonna do that in all of the three corners left now we're gonna take the block we're gonna put a layer at the inside all around the building then we go with the slabs uh, again then another layer with blocks and then instead of going with slabs blocks slabs block we're gonna stop here and we're gonna put some stairs going all the way up like this with an a shape we're gonna take it up until we get to the middle then we're gonna stop we're gonna start again here at this side we're gonna take it up until we get here at the middle we're going to remove these two here to put some blocks and then slabs here like this and here at the middle we're going to put one block here one block here then a stair here and a slab here on top of the stair and we're going to repeat the same with it here at this side so stairs going up then we remove these two to put some blocks and then slabs here then in the middle, we're gonna put a block, another block, then a stair, and then a slab on top of the stair. And then here at the bottom of this block, we're gonna take slabs all the way like this. And then we're gonna fill this space we have here at this side and also here at this side with some normal stairs. We're gonna fill them like this. And once we have the roof done, we're gonna get at the inside here and we're gonna light this up very well and then we're gonna take the strip dark out locks to put a beam here like this and then we're gonna put sand here to close this up and also here at this side locks here and then some sand 
like that. And now we're done with the exterior of the building. Now we're just left with the interior decoration. And if you have get to this part of the video, I will really appreciate if you can give me a like and subscribe because that means that you really like this video. And also that'll make me so happy. With that being said, let's continue with the tutorial. Now for the interior decoration, I'm going to be quiet so I don't have to explain what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and do so. Come on, where is a loom when you need it? There's no loom here. So I, I guess I will have to take one here.
And with that, we're done with the building. I hope you like it, and remember, if you do so, give me a like, please. You can subscribe as well. So that was the video. I hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.